Good evening. This is Dr. Ragini, Fertility Consultant from Ferti9, Sikindra Band Branch. Now I would like to tell about what is ovarian PRP. PRP is platelet-rich plasma. How are we making use of this in fertility? So it is something like uh, the patients, the patient's own blood is taken and we centrifuge and filter out the platelets. Why are we selecting only platelets? Platelets is the one which has lot of regenerative potential so that it has lot of stem cells, growth factors which helps to restore the lost uh, cells. Okay, so where are, where are we using? Now I am mainly concentrating on what is ovarian PRP. We usually use in patients with premature ovarian insufficiency. It means that the ovary is functioning as like a menopausal in a very young age. Why is it that ovary is functioning like that? It can be because of various reasons. It can be idiopathic or it can be because of some uh, surgical uh, operate, operation that we are doing or it can be because of genetical also. So what are we doing in this ovarian PRP is that we take the patient's own blood, wash it and having centrifuging and removing the platelets rich and putting inside the ovaries. These are the ovaries. So. Uh, what what happens with this is that it is seen the studies are showing that doing consecutive three cycles of uh, consecutive three menstrual cycles of ovarian prps has shown improvement in its enteral follicular count that is its baseline ovarian reserve is little better and improvement in the fsh fsh is little coming down compared to the pre uh, pre ovarian prp blood levels okay and um, why is that why who are the patients is that mainly concentrating on POI premature ovarian insufficiency is that their AFC number is very less at a very younger age group okay like uh, less than 30 years we usually have to have a normal AMH that is about nearly 1.5 to 3.5 but then in in patients of POI their AF, AMH that is enteral mullerian hormone is very less it can be nearly from 0.1 to less than 1 so in these patients we, uh, there are certain other medical therapy which is coming up but uh, all are under experimental purpose like giving them DHEA giving some testosterone and now coming up with a ovarian PRP so in short PRPs have been show, showed a better result in patients with POI in terms of improving the AFC also improving the M2 oocytes like these are the patients who get who has a very good results with IVF so in IVF, what are we concentrating is the oocyte uh, staging. The uh, mature oocytes are M2 oocytes. So post PRP, post ovarian PRP, we there is a, there are many studies which shows an improvement in the M2s and also improvement in the embryos, embryo quality. Okay, and. Um, how is PRP installed first thing so what we do is uh, as I said already that we take the patient's own blood above 20 ml uh, among its repeated centrifugation separate the platelets and uh, with a scan guided a transvaginal transvaginal scan guidance we introduce this PRP inside the ovary inside the two ovaries and we we usually have to uh, see better results are appreciated after three consecutive cycles um, so where, what are the conditions is that the same what I have already told that it can be because of genetic or it can be surgical Itrogenic. Itrogenic is like patients who have severe endometriotic cyst, uh, severe any any surgeries related to the ovary. When we are trying to remove the cyst or we are trying to remove any of the other uh, adjoining ovary and cyst, then we will by chance be able to remove the part of the ovarian tissue then the ovarian tissue is little reduced that is causing itrogenic POI and again 
per se having a physiological changes because of genetic condition again they are encountering with a high AMH and with a very low ovarian result. So these are the patients who are getting better benefited with ovarian PRP. Thank you.